Guff TV. This week we're on safari with Corona as we head down to Chile with Owen Wright and Dayan Nave as they hit up a big slabbing wave down near the border of Peru called El Gringo. El Gringo is a heaving cold border reef in northern Chile, close to the Peruvian border. Welcome to Corona Safari. El Gringo is in Arica. To get to the Arica area, you can fly from the Chilean capital, Santiago, or drive the Pan American Highway. Oh, Chileano. <laughs> Chile, I just got back from Chile. I was, um, I was competing over in Brazil, and it's just a short flight over to Chile from there. It's unbelievable just flying into Santiago. If anyone's ever done it, you fly in over the Andes. So there's just snow-covered mountains. You fly in between the mountains into Santiago. When you get to Santiago, you're probably going to get harassed a bit for people trying to get your hire cars and things like that. But if you think about the waves, it's probably some of the best waves I've ever surfed in my life. Chile is a poor but politically stable country with very few threats to the traveller. Arica has been an important port city for almost 500 years and has a history dating back thousands of years. El Gringo is situated on an island connected to the mainland by a causeway. The perfect A-frame can often reach 15 feet plus. The wave is shallow and extremely dangerous. The landscape features the driest cold desert in the world and is part of the Andes mountain chain. Anyone that wants to go to the north of Chile and um, experience a Rica would probably be the type of person that either likes coming close to death when they surf a heavy ledge or a person that's always wanted to go to Mars but could never get there because the place is just a sandy desert with not much going on and the wave is just this heavy, heavy slab. You definitely want to take a lot of boards because I snapped three in one session. So if you think of it like that, you want to have, you know, at least five boards in your quiver for a two week trip. Corona Safari degree of difficulty for Arica is advanced. The Corona Safari budget rating is low, but getting there can be pricey. As a surfer traveling through South America, get off the beaten track and take the time to explore the more remote areas. I guarantee you'll find some hidden gems. See you next time on Corona Safari.